This important video is called, Jesus Will Call His Own to Duty. Make sure you do your calling and not someone else's job. If you are his sheep, Jesus will call you to work in the vineyard. And there are many tasks that he wants you to do. Those who are his sheep will have a testimony of meeting God. They either met the Holy Spirit who told them what to do, or Jesus who directly told them what to do. Jesus appeared to me a second time after my first encounter to give me my calling. He told me to tend his sheep. I didn't even know this was in the Bible. He repeatedly told me, I am with you. I quickly needed to learn the Bible to preach his word. The Holy Spirit will teach you and guide you. I quickly came to understand that Jesus calls his own and guides them. It's not the people you think. I used to think he chose only those with university degrees to preach, but not so. There are plumbers, electricians, gardeners, and even people coming out of prison. Just like the Bible, Jesus chose tax collectors and fishermen. He didn't choose the temple priests or the religious leaders. We are commissioned to lead people to Jesus and teach his word. We point people to Jesus and glorify him. We get people started on the narrow road, walking with Jesus through the Spirit. From then on, they have to walk it with Jesus and let the Holy Spirit lead them. There is nothing special about us. We glorify Jesus. We don't glorify us. We make disciples of Him, not us. We don't teach anything that's not already written down. We are just obeying what we are told to do. The key fact is Jesus calls people to duty. It's a lifelong commission. There is no retirement with a pension. And there are some self-starters who don't need to be taught by us. They can get understanding directly from the word themselves. And they can go do their calling. Wonderful. Do not do someone else's job. Only keep to what God tells you to do. For not all are called to preach. Not all are teachers, pastors, or deacons. Many are called to just witness and give testimony for Jesus. This is a very important job. Example, a woman was healed of end-stage breast cancer by Jesus, and he told her to be a witness for him. Quote, acknowledge me before man. And she's been doing this for decades now. Example, an 85-year-old COVID survivor was healed during a hospitalization. He was on a respirator for 60 days. God audibly told him he was going to get better because he now has a testimony to give. In the Bible, the man with the legion of demons was told to be a witness. The woman at the well was also a witness, as was the leper, sent to be a witness to the priest. Others became pastors, prophets, evangelists, and deacons. The Holy Spirit must be your boss in whatever you do, because without Him you will be running in vain, and you will feel joy and fulfillment when you do His works. Do not follow what someone else is doing. Do what God tells you to do, because you don't even know if that person you're following is even sent by God. There are different callings and gifts for each person according to God's will. Now, now many do not even know their calling because they have not even repented and obeyed Jesus. If you have been born again and have repented, expect to be called to duty. Start doing your calling, for all are called to the harvest of souls. Some sow, some water, some reap. Part 2 God will coordinate the body of Christ to work together. The hand is not a foot, the eye is not an ear. But each is needed for the body of Christ. Just make sure you do what you're supposed to do. Otherwise you'll be useless. Here's an example of some sow, some water, some reap. Years back I went to a donut shop and saw Buddha there displayed on a shelf. I felt compelled to give my testimony to the owner. I told him about my encounter with Jesus after getting sick. The owner was quite skeptical and he replied I must have had a bad dream. The seed was planted. Then there were others in the donut shop who heard the testimony. And then there was a customer there who stood up and told the donut shop 
his own testimony. He was undergoing dialysis and suddenly passed away. He came out of his body and met Jesus. And Jesus told him it was not his time and put him back in his body. He walked around the donut shop telling everyone where he saw the holes in his wrists. Everybody, everyone was shocked and the seed was watered. The next time I went back to the donut shop, the owner asked me how to pray and I gave him a Bible. The guy became a believer. Some sow, some water, some reap. In the Bible, the woman at the well was sent back to witness for Jesus. Very quickly, the whole town wanted to meet Jesus, and they believed. If you are a follower of Jesus, you will quickly be given a calling. The body of Christ has hands, feet, eyes, and ears. Just do what he tells you to do. Don't do someone else's calling. God will coordinate everything. Just do what he says. Jesus bless you.